Welcome back to RimWorld, everyone. So we're going to have a very, very hard campaign going forward here. I've sort of decided on how we want to go forward with the difficulty with the campaign in particular. So the suicide bomb and zombies are going to be the big threat to the base. I don't think I kind of made that clear yesterday. So although we are safe from the sort of smaller, or I say smaller regular zombies, they're incredibly lethal as we've seen, you know, them fighting raiders or whatever. But we are safe right now from the electric zombies, from the toxic splash zombies, from the regular zombies. These suicide bomber zombies I've set to 7% spawn rate. So 7% of all the zombies that spawn are going to be the suicide bombers. Those guys are going to run into walls and just blow a massive hole in it. Similar to what we've kind of got going on right now. So we've already got a challenge here. Now, as you just saw, there will also be a big old meteor smashing into the planet. I'm not going to spoil too much, but it will have irreversible effects essentially on the planet, which are going to have a huge amount more difficulty. We are also playing on Hildegard Epic right now. Hildegard being a, a Rimsonal storyteller designed to send bigger and more lethal raids but have less of the awkward sort of annoying things like um, like a plague, like muscle parasites, like things like that that are just kind of a pain in the ass. We're going to have more challenge constantly. On top of everything else, this is going to be fairly tricky, I think. So for the time being, the, the first sort of port of call really is to contain what zombies have managed to break through the walls here. So the electric zombies do cause those electrical arcs. That will set anything on fire that, was, it, that is obviously close to that. Luckily, the rain has just started to kick in, but that doesn't mean that we haven't already got, what is that, like 12 zombies? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, well, 13, 14, 15, 16, what was that, like 17 zombies we've got to deal with that? I think I count that very, very badly. But the point is, we've got a lot of zombies, even one zombie is enough to cause significant damage. Now, I've taken a lot of your feedback as well. Many of you have pointed out that 100% infection risk means that fighting the electric zombies becomes... Not just difficult in the sense we can't hit them with with regular rep weaponry, but downright lethal. You know, eventually, if we keep it at that level, we're going to have people with peg legs, peg arms, and peg everything before, but don't peg everything, but but mo mostly artificial limbs before the series is out here. So I've actually changed it so it's a 50-50% chance for that, which is still very, very tough. 50-50% chance for infections to turn into full-blown zombie infections. The other alternate I saw as well, which I think is a fairly good idea, either that or we can really focus on the zombie serum. That would require us actually going out of the base and making sure that we get a lot of that, which could also work, don't get me wrong. The other thing as well was somebody said keep it 100%, but set the treatment window to very, very small, so you have to treat it very quickly and very urgently. Treat it as like a real end game thing. That way, it, we would be able to stop it, but we would have to have optimal circumstances. So, I'm not really sure how we want to balance it right now. I'll try out the 50-50. We'll see how that works as well. Because that way, we still got a little bit of tension. You know, will they become infected? Will they won't? Maybe we'll try 100% with zombie serum instead. Because that way, we can always guarantee the end. That will force us to actually go out and fight the zombies. I'm not sure. But we'll sort of test out and see how we go along here. First things first, though. Let's deal with this horrible uh, giant hole in the base. So... Those two guys, I wonder if they, do they desiccate corpses? I assume so, but I'm not sure. What I'm hoping is they're going to be distracted enough for Ayano here to actually get through. Oh, shit, there's another one coming around the corner. Hurry, run. Oh, my God, mercenaries as well. No, 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 no. Um, oh, that's a lot. Wow. So we've got a bunch of mercenaries to turn as well. Luckily, they've spawned on the top side of the map, which is great for us because that's where most of the zombies are hanging out. That's where the horde currently is as well. So that might not be a big deal. We want to get her to grab the sniper rifle. We want to get everybody... In a line, and we want to very slowly go through the base and pick off the zombies one by one. We cannot let them rage, and we absolutely cannot let ourselves get bitten again. Because that would uh, that would be a massive, massive problem, especially when there are so many zombies to deal with right now. As long as these guys don't get involved, as long as they don't path their way around, and as we've seen before, they're more than capable of pathing around. Coming through this hole in the wall as well. If we have to fight all of this, then we are seriously, seriously in a big problem. But for the time being, we should be relatively safe, I think. So let's get you guys out here. Um... Maybe don't go through there. <laughs> Maybe don't go through there. Maybe stick to the stick to the rest of the crowd. In fact, let's get them to uh, just group up in here first, and we'll have them all go out at the same speed so that we're capable of covering one another. This guy's probably going to attack the doors, I imagine, because he's most likely smelling brains. Oh, no, they're going... Okay, back off, back off, back off. There we go. Uh, what we could do is actually use Ayano as a law and actually get her to... If we get her to stand, like, here, could that potentially get the zombie's attention down there? The other thing as well is we don't want to be trapped in this building while we're waiting for... Well, while those mercenaries potentially, you know, path around the zombies, the zombies have already caught onto them there. We don't want the mercenaries to come around here and also attack us through the giant hole in the wall. This is a difficult scenario. Shit. Um, just go for it now. Go for it now. That zombie is relatively far away. We don't want to get bitten, though. Ah, how do I balance this? Keep the door open. Let's, okay, I've got, I've got a plan. I've got a plan here. Hold the door open. Now we back off. Let them come through here. That way we can kill this one dead. Kill it, please. Kill it dead. Oh my god, please kill it. There we go. Okay, that's that one down. And then we'll create a line here. 
and just let the zombies maybe come to us might be the safest bet. You know, we've got, uh, in fact, come up here as well, just in case they come around the corner there. Let's give ourselves as much room as possible. We've got a lot of long-range weapons. We've got, like, bolt action rifle, sniper rifle, heavy rifle there. Between those three, we should be able to put down enough fire so that the zombies, given the distance that we've got, given this open field, it, it might be enough to sort of hold them off. He's lighting fire to every single one of my conduits. Can you not? <laughs> These electric zombies are really adding something different to the game mix that I do I do like, but they are a massive pain in the arse. It's, it's exactly where they need to be. I think that they're, they're, they're designed very well there. Right, let's get all these guys in a line. Let's deal with this guy. Again, take it very slow. We've got rain, so the fire is not such a major concern right now. Oh, God, the mercenaries actually did make it into our base. Um, some got a little distracted there. This guy's taking a bit of damage. Uh, they've actually lit that battery on fire as well, which is a pain in the ass. Um, this guy's taking a little bit of damage there. All we've got to do is get the mercenaries to flee. And ideally, we want to capture and save as many people as possible. This is still an apocalypse-style scenario. So saving those guys will, uh, saving anybody is still our top priority for the colony. Um, let's form a line here now. Let's form a line here. That way, if this guy comes around the corner, we can kill him. If these guys start coming around the corner, we can take him down as well. Puts a... Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, shit. We've got to worry about that. Um, what have we got in terms of melee weapons? There's me looking for melee weapons. And, of course, we've got the simple sidearms mod. Right. So, swip over to your knife. What about you guys? You've also got a hammer. We should really have everyone with a sidearm at all times in case of electric zombie scenarios like this. Rex, get in there. Because Rex has the power armor. I think he's very unlikely to be bitten. Ayano, let's get you uh, shooting that one down. Let's get Rick re-equipping his rifle and also aiming at that guy. Rex should be able to take that down without... Oh, God, what is that? What is... It? Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what, is, what was that? Um, left ring finger destroyed. He's taking damage from something? Oh, bruise, bruise zombie fist, right. I thought the electrical arc then did some damage to him. It might, it very much, well, might. We'll have to keep a close eye on it and sort of see how it goes. Let's make sure that guy's taken down. Rex, you should be okay, right? Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's my good friend, Tony. Um, maybe swap over to that knife and get in there. Um, oh, God, Rex is going to be attacking by... Okay. Hang on, let me think about this. So get you on this side, because we've got the friendly fire mod, obviously. Are you taking aim at another zombie? Don't worry about that for now. Blast Tony. Rick, come on this side so you don't get in the way of friendly fire. Melee attack. Can you not shoot him because of... Ah, oh, Rick's in the way. Um, Rick, go help out with the electric zombie, then. Go up out the electric zombie. Hopefully, these zombies will attack. Hey, that's what we're looking for here. We're looking for the zombies to attack the mercenaries. In fact, they've even taken a mercenary down there. How strong are these guys? I might have made them a little bit too powerful, but we'll sort of see how it goes here. Right, we're in a pretty good scenario there. You guys open fire. Ayano, give them some cover, for Christ's sake. We need to extract as much zombie serum as possible, because I think the chance of us getting away with this without being infected is, is relatively low at this stage. Come on, take him down. Oh, okay. A, 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 that's a good shot. That's a good shot. I can't complain too much. This is high risk, huh? This is very high risk. Rex, how you doing? A bunch of bruises. It's, it's going to take them a long time to get through the power armor. Uh, most of it is zombie fist as well. you got to remember, this is power armor against just people with maces now. So that's going to be a very different scenario. She's not going to be able to shoot there, is she? Um, back off. Back off. Let the, zombie, let the zombie tidy those guys up for a bit. Rick, swap back to your bolt action rifle. The reason I want them all separated a little bit is so that we are capable of... Oh, what's he lost? Oh, they destroyed his other leg. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Tony Bash Rex with a mace. Wounding his left leg, torso, and sternum. Rex, you're going to have to get indoors and go and self-tend. Oh, man. I, I mean, what do we do here? Why would you shoot him? <laughs> She's been disarmed. Okay. Um. Okay. Oh, my God. This is bad. This is not a good scenario at all. Rex is down. Uh, Rick is probably also just about to get downed as well. Um... Yeah, no, back off, back off, back off, back off. Um, how do we want to deal with this? I feel like friendly fire is kind of fucking us a little bit, to be honest with you. Um, I'm going to have to start toggling it off. My god, there are so many of them. There are so many of them. Um, wow, okay. So, get indoors. If you can, without being stabbed to death. Rick's fucking... Uh, bro, I mean, Rick's screwed here. Rick is screwed. Rick's also down. Um... I think we just hide indoors and maybe see if the zombies can deal with, with our enemies. Excuse me. Do you want to start, start moving? Go, go, go. This is bad. I'm not going to lie to you. This is a horrible scenario. This is a horrible scenario. Is Rex going to die soon? Now it's six hours. Oh, God. Um, she is going to get stabbed to death. Okay, she's, she's given up. That's fine. Hide in the corner. She's okay. She's just been cut. She hasn't lost anything. Not a big deal. I need more zombies over here. Sorry, can we get some more Can we get some more zombies? I'm actually relying on the zombies to kill off these. We've just got to get them to flee. That's all I need is just to get these guys to flee. 
Come on. T kidnap who they can and leave. No, 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 no. Don't do that either. Don't do that either. That'll slow him down. Oh, that's it. You can you can <laughs> you can take Rick Crimes. I'm alright with that. Um Don't get downed. Don't get downed. Don't get downed. Don't get downed. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get into the prison. Please move. Oh, come on. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable that they send mercenaries to this extent after us this early on. Right, okay. That's good. That's good. They're backing off. Go and save Rex. That would be the worst case scenario that they kidnap Rex as well. Rick Crimes. If Rick has to go, Rick has to go, okay? I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. Uh, chances are they're actually not going to be able to grab Rick. Okay. Rescue Rex. He is the top tier guy here. Oh, no. A man in black. Eros. Oh, why did you spawn there right next to a suicide bomber zombie? No, 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 no. Okay. Shit. Can, do you think we can thread the needle and run between them? I mean, it's either that or that, which I think is definitely going to get him. I think we're going to have to go. Good shot. Great shot, my man. Okay, get to base. Rescue Rick. Get to base. Rescue Rick. Don't bother. Just run. Run like this way. Come through the, Come through this door. Oh, my God. This is so bad. Rex is going to die for it. I don't think we can save Rex. I think this is completely fucked. Um, I mean, Eros is a good character. Don't get me wrong. But this is certainly not the start I was hoping for here. Let's ignore. Go for, go for a slightly higher speed. Rush it. Okay, we've lost Tony. Rex, how you doing? Bleeding out in four hours. Rex, Rex, you will be rescued. You will be rescued. Uh, uh, construction, construction, deconstruction. Okay, here you go. Right. Let's open this up. That was bad. That was really bad. Those mercenaries did way more damage than I thought they would. I really underestimated those guys. Rex is bleeding out in three hours. Do you have any sort of medical skill whatsoever? 9.28. Okay, 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 okay. Have they... They did, did manage to kidnap the other guy, Rick Crimes. We'll have to see if he sends in a rescue. Ask him, to be honest, this guy is better. Don't... Don't... Don't tell him I said that, but this guy is definitely what we wanted rather than Rick Crimes. Um, where do we start? She's bleeding out in 10 hours. Turn that into a medical bed. Or do we even want to? Do we even want to do that? I think we just drop down a... I just, I just think we have to tend to him while he's there. Okay, so you head here. Let's go... Furniture. This is horrible. You put that down. Let's go medical. And let's immediately rescue Rex. Here's what I like. Here's what I like after all this. Power armor, not invincible. That's nice. We've actually got a little bit of tension back with things now. We never, ever once saw a guy in power armor go down in the previous series. Not once did that happen. Oh, no. Come on. Please let me just tend. Just, just tend to him. What are you doing? Tenant Rex. No, 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 no. Uh, doctor, 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 doctor care. Ha ha. Tentorax. Don't worry about the zombie. Don't worry about the zombie. Make sure Rex is not going to die. Night condition he's not going to bleed out anymore. We're good. Now fight the zombie. G grab yourself that gun. I mean, he's, he's a crack shot with that revolver, I'll be honest with you. But I feel like a heavy rifle. Bit more owl speed right now. Okay, great, great, fantastic start. Tentorax. Okay, you know what? Actually, just carry Rex indoors. I was going to say Tentorax, but he's not bleeding out anymore, so it's not much point. Get him indoors. Get him to safety. Ayana, how are you doing? Eight hours. This is bad. <laughs> we lost Rick Crimes, but we gained an absolute crack shot in the form of Eros Light Sky. Great medical character. We actually couldn't have asked for anything more right now. Um, okay. Rescue her. Was that door? Oh, I allowed it to be left open. That's why they got in so quickly. Uh, let's make that medical. Let's make that medical. Uh, drop her again. Now, in terms of zombie bites, how are we looking? I don't think anybody took any damage from a zombie specifically. Um, a couple of cracks from a zombie fist. Ayana as well. Let's wait until she is rescued. And let's take a look at her. Um, she's also fine. She's just bleeding out. Prioritize tending to them. We may have some infections to worry about. To be honest, we've got some really good doctors in the colony now, so it's not a big deal. Um, already tending to her. With with what? You're going to get medicine. I see. Okay, let's set two dots here then very temporarily. Let's get you tending to her. Just an incredible, just an incredible all-around first raid there. That could not have gone any better if I'd have tried. And now the base is absolutely swarming... That's how they're getting in. There's a fucking hole in the wall. Are you joking? How long has that been there? How long? Has that been there every episode and I've just not noticed? Or maybe... No, no, no. What it's more likely is, is the, the, the raiders probably knocked a hole in the wall, didn't they? Right. Okay. Um, unbelievable. So now we've got even more to worry about. Holy shit. Well, let's make sure these guys are alive and well to start off with here. Maybe Eros can can very carefully, one by one, deal with some of these zombies here. We want to be extracting zombie serum as much as possible, too, because just in case of, you know, scenarios like that where we didn't get so lucky and where we did get some bites and infections coming out of that. Okay. 
You, my friend, are on permanent doctor duty. Hope you enjoy that one. We've got this. Oh, I completely forgot about Merc, the prisoner, as well. She has no idea what's going on. What happened to Rick Crimes? Oh, no. What are you talking about? Rick Crimes never left. There's no war here. Everybody's very happy in this colony. Join us. Join us, please. I think before we do anything else, the last thing we want is zombie attacks on two simultaneous sides of the base. So let's get this rebuilt with, I mean, what have we got? What, what sort of building blocks have we got here? Anything. Anything we'll do. We've, we've got enough. A slate wall. Slate walls are fine. Um, I imagine, yeah, we've got a shitload of steel as well. Let's drop that there. Let's forbid this stuff. Otherwise, he's going to go out of the gate to, in fact, let's, let's just straight forbid it. Right. Let's get you working on this because the last thing we want is these guys knocking down this wall and having zombies come in from both sides of the base. No, 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 no. Work on that steel wall. There we go. There we go. Come on. That's good. Okay. So we're nicely defended on that side. There are zombies actually in the... Oh my god, the freezer. Oh my god, the freezer. Okay, okay, okay. This is fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about anything. Everything is okay for the time being. Right, let's get you working on this one next. Oh my lord. Wow. This is... um. You want to do that? I'm going to disagree with that one, Chief. I'm going to disagree with that one. I'm going to manually do this because I feel like it's probably going to get us killed otherwise. So you get that. Let's go. Um, let's, let's run up here. Let's run this way down here over to this wall. Right. Good. Stick as close to that as possible. Don't lure any zombies over. Okay. Good work. Let's get this over here. Let's drop that stuff and start working on the door. Unbelievable. Right. There we go. Okay. So that should be the kitchen. The kitchen is safe. Okay, we are good. We're not going to get any more zombies coming in right now. Um, unless they decide to smash down this door. There's a lot. There is a lot in the base. Good lord. This is this is really gone to shit. Have yourself a shower. You know what? You deserve it right now. He's complaining because there's no hot water. That was genuinely what he was complaining about there. With this guy, I might actually very quickly try and kill off as, as many zombies as possible. Uh, while the other two are, you know, it, are doing bed rest and all of that stuff. While they're trying to recover from their injuries. Let's just get our guy with his rifle. Just to hang out. Just to, just to run and gun maybe. Fire some shots off. Just kill a couple of zombies here and there. And clear out the horde somewhat. Because this is going to get very quickly out of hand otherwise. Please don't shoot a wind turbine or the wall. That would be appropriate. Nice work. There's one down. One down. Only another hundred or so to go. <laughs> Come on, I believe in you. There we go. Alright, so what are we looking at down here then? So in terms of zombies, we've got three in the kitchen. We've got three in the kitchen, two south of the prison. But in terms of actual zombies in the base, there are still quite a few. So we've got... Okay, let's go for this area next. Let's try and clear out a couple over here. We don't want to get too brave with things. One at a time. we just got to focus on one at a time. Let's get behind these sandbags. Just because I don't want his shots hitting the sandbags and then, and then us paying the price for that. Like losing some accuracy there. Oh god, okay. I wish you were more accurate. 2.85 shooting is not ideal. Right, now is the time where we want to stop being so brave and back off a little bit. I'm trying to lure them over the sandbags, over the rocks, something like that, just to add a bit more distance between us and them. If we can just bring them over, slowly like this, this will work. But it's still not the best scenario, is it? Right, let's go speed 2 for our, just a, just a second. Just a second, because I feel like we should be safe here. Right, back up a little bit more. Okay. I wonder if, like regular and more characters, the more zombies are injured the slower they move, or whether it's just they have two phases, a walking phase, and then obviously being down like that to be a crawler. I'm not entirely sure, but we better better deal with this guy as well. There we go. Okay, and I wonder to what extent they can also recover from injuries. You know, if they're in a crawling stage, can they then get back up and walk again eventually? You'd kind of assume so if they if, if we've got recovery from injuries turned on. Okay, um, let's focus on this one next, because we've clearly got... Okay, that one's also down. Maybe they also bleed out like, like regular and more characters too. That'd be very useful to know. Okay. We're doing a good job. This guy's actually really holding down the fort here. That's that's four or five zombies taken down now. Actually, I couldn't be any happier with, with this new character that we've got right here. So not only is he the best doctor in the colony right now. Actually, is he? Yeah, he is the best doctor in the colony. He's got super high passion in it. And in a scenario like this one, whereby we're going to have constant tending necessary, constant infections being fought off, I mean, the zombies are very, very lethal. So just regular damage and wear and tear. Having a good, passionate doctor in the colony could be exactly what we were looking for. I mean... Did I want to trade out Rick Crimes for it? Absolutely not. Rick Crimes was a great builder. But we've already got other builders. I mean, building is also not super relevant, seeing as we've got many, many buildings going on right now. But he is a very nice compromise, let's put it that way. Every cloud has a silver lining, and our silver lining is an incredible doctor in this scenario. Which, like I said, in, in the end of the world, that's kind of what you want. This where the pathing is a little bit jank, but it's okay. I kind of I kind of see why it would be also necessary in certain scenarios. Right, bring it, cowboy. Up, oh, back off, back off, back off. Disengage faster, please. That's why we can't let them get too close because disengagement takes quite a while. Um, and it's not as bad as it is in combat extended with the melee uh, disengagement. It seems to take hours in that one. Do you want to patch up this hole in the wall, maybe? 
I think I think we might want to quickly try and get that one dealt with. And how many other zombies are kicking around? Look at this guy. He's basically cleared out the base by himself. There's the three zombies in the kitchen, two south of, uh, just north of the prison now, and then one guy in this building. After that, though, I mean, we might be able to get the wall patched up. Ayano no longer incapable of walking. I might actually drop bed rest down to her second highest there so that the prisoner can still be fed and whatnot. Um, but besides that, actually, I should probably let this guy go back about his business for a bit just because I'm worried that if left unattended, we might have... Uh, we might have things like Rex starving, you know, or, or dying of thirst, or even the prisoner dying of thirst, things like that. You're going to rest there. You're going to rest there. You're a brave man. You're a brave man, Eros. I mean, you did save the colony, so I think you deserve it at this stage, but I am going to give you a sleeping spot instead. I feel like that's a bit of a bad idea. Right, there you go. Let's, uh, let's go for that. How about that? There we go. Good work. Okay. Go get yourself a... No! <laughs> All right. Well, there's me thinking that guy was still trapped in the bottom building. <sighs> Get him home. Get him. It's okay. We're at 50-50. We're at he might be fine. and he, uh, he should be fine. I'm, I'm hoping he's fine. My God, please be fine. Well, that's all we can really do for the time being. We have one zombie extract. So we could start killing and grabbing ourselves some serum. I'll set you to attack and just see if we can't... I mean, we might have to clear out these other zombies just to cure. I'm going to actually start grabbing more serum now, just in case we do need to urgently cure our guy. Because that would really, really suck. Okay, there's one. Come on, take the other down. Come on, take him down quicker, please. Because I don't want that other body to start rotting before we can get serum from it. Right, right, go. Uh, how, do, how do we do that? Do we just... Uh, cannot haul. Cannot pick up. I guess we just sort of leave him. Drinking water. Okay, that's fair enough. And then as long as the doctor is high, I guess he'll probably just do it automatically. Unless I'm misunderstanding things here. Not another raid. Not this quickly. My god. Group of pirates from the Mad Mantis have arrived nearby. Um, okay, luckily, they're all melee characters besides one guy with a pistol. Now, the only downside to what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to clear out the kitchen, is that Ayano is, is still injured, so can only move very, very slowly. Now, I'm hoping these rocks will help slow down the zombies as well. Oh god, I might have made a mistake here trying to think that she can deal with this. Uh, how are you doing? Are you, are you infected or what? No infection risk. Oh, thank god. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, almighty Randy Random. Let's get you out of here. We're not playing on Randy. I'm well aware. Okay, run, 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 run. She can just about outrun them. She's just about outrunning them because of that adrenaline rush. Intense adrenaline rush there. It's giving her blood pumping, moving, breathing, whatever. That's keeping her alive. And this is exactly the balance I wanted to get. So with the adrenaline, we can just outrun the zombies because I think that's fair. If you had two very hungry zombies chasing you, you'd probably run like the fucking wind as well. She's getting out of the way. Don't worry about friendly fire. Honestly, we can't afford it in this scenario. Just, just glow. Come on, take him down. Good start. We've got to take these guys down before the raiders get here too, which is another downside. Rex, how are you doing? Are you capable of walking yet? Still can't walk. Oh, God. This is high difficulty, huh? This might be a little bit out of my pay grade, but we'll wait and see how we get on. Okay, you're, you're done. What are you shooting at? They're already here? That took them no time at all. Okay, um, we've got Eren. So Eren is the guy with the pistol. What do we do? Do we want to try and get behind the sandbags before he gets there? Do we want to just try and just try and kill him dead from a distance? I, I imagine we've got more range on him because he's using a goddamn pistol after all. Right, you move out of the way because you are in the, the line of fire there. You open fire as well. Let's turn off friendly fire. Keep that, keep that off. Oh, good shot. Come on. Come on. Come on, take him down. My God, he can fire fast with that pistol. What the fuck? He's just unloading on us. Oh, good shot. Okay, alright, you get out of here. Both of you- Oh, no, come on. Don't do this again. Um, okay, okay, okay. Let's- I'm, I'm gonna roll with it. Oh, good good shot. Good shot. Rescue her, rescue her, rescue her. No, 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 no. Open fire, open fire. Change your mind. Open fire. Don't let him get too close. Ah! Come on! Give me a break here, Rimworld. He's got a melee weapon. I think we're fucked. Rescue, rescue, rescue. Just get her out of there. That was a bad plan. That was a bad plan in hindsight. He's clearly not gonna move fast enough to get her away. Oh, my God. Everyone's down. I need another man in black. Send me a man in black. What are they going to do? They're just going to burn my base down now. Yep, they are absolutely just going to fucking trash the joint. Come on, zombies. Take him down. Come on, zombies. Come on, zombies. Someone turned into a zombie. Who? Who's Hail Sham? Oh, my God. Traders turned up. Immediately become zombified. Good Lord. Okay. Um, Rex. Rex, it's down to you. I don't know what else you're going to do. Are, they, are these guys going to bleed out? Bleeding out 16 hours. Actually, our, our colonists themselves are fine. Um, the base being completely alight is not instilling too much confidence. Rex, you need to you need to start moving. Oh, they're just going to trash the place. I can't believe it. They're fleeing. They're fleeing. 
They're fleeing. We're fine. Rex, you need to get up. Rex, you need to get up right now. Come on. Rex, please, the base. <laughs> the walls are literally caving him around. Are you all right as well? He's fine. He's actually got nothing wrong with him at all. We just need to get him. We need to wait for him to heal somewhat so we can get off the ground and get to work. Um, yeah, this is um, not the most ideal scenario. I think we can all agree. Rex is down for heat stroke, I assume. Uh, can't walk. Medical emergency. Oh, fucking good lord. Well, I guess we just... Uh, can no one walk? No one can walk. I think this actually genuinely might be the end. Wow, I'm actually... Merc is no longer... Okay, I don't care about Merc. Rex is gone. Rex is gone. Someone's being eaten. I have no idea who. And you guys still can't move, I assume? This is actually the end. Holy shit. Wow. I would have never have seen that coming. These mercenaries... It was the mercenaries. The... the I, I think Hildegard Epic, this early on, many of you have pointed out, actually, that, that this is partially the reason why we get such difficult raids this early on. When you spawn in an abandoned city, the city counts as yours, even if you haven't claimed it. Which is, well, people have apparently said from from testing in Discord and in, uh, in YouTube as well, that the whole city counts as ours. So we are being disproportionately hit by very, very difficult raids for this state of the game. And I think it's really gone to show how true that is. Regardless of zombies, there goes Ayano, and then Eros is probably going to be devoured in a second as well. Gone. The story is over. Unbelievable. Wow, shit. So, I think then, if the city is ours to start off with, if the city is ours to start off with, we need to start on a lower difficulty until we get ourselves more established, because the raids are already going to be... Harder than what they should be, if that makes sense. Plus the zombies we've got to worry about as well. After that stage, after we're established, after we've got, you know, the walls dealt with, or at least the zombies not such in a dangerous position, you know, like a big fucking hole in the wall. Then after that stage, we'll crank the difficulty up. But I like the zombies as they are right now. I'm really happy to leave that how it is. But the actual difficulty of the game, we've got to balance around the starting scenario, which seems odd, but there's not really many other ways to do it whilst also starting in a city. <laughs> Keep playing. Yeah, let's, let's watch the whole thing burn down. Thank you. Wow, shit. And that's how it ended. I can't believe it. Just a couple of raiders there. And I mean, that could have ended any any different amount of ways. If we'd have got lucky with a couple of those early shots, if, if Ayano hadn't gone down so early on, you know, if we'd have left her in bed maybe to heal up a bit longer rather than luring those zombies out, things could have been very, very different there. But that was just uh, a poor roll of the dice, I think, above everything else. Real shame. Merc has died. Cause dehydration. There we go. Our prisoner who escaped died of dehydration and that's real tragic that close as well to the sea not that you can not that you can drink the sea i guess shit well i guess there's nothing left to do then but goodbye goodbye rex eros and ayano wow well, real dis excuse me no, no no i don't want to quit to os no, no no go back we were playing on hildegard medium last time but hildegard medium with all of those buildings and all of that wealth is obviously going to be fairly tough at that stage of the game so I'm thinking instead, because I, 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 I'm not going back to build a difficulty. That seems ridiculous, seeing as we played that whole jolt playthrough on, like, Savage, and even went up to Merciless for a little bit of it. I think that would be sort of uh, disingenuous. So I think we're going to stick with Cassandra, maybe even Phoebe. Phoebe might be a good shout for the early game, because obviously she lives longer between the big raids. So if we play, like, Phoebe medium... Then, uh, obviously, I mean, reload any time is probably for the for the best thing as uh, we're recording all this shit. Let's randomize. Let's go for boom. Kiriko. Generate. Go anywhere. It doesn't really matter. I mean, the map is it's, it's somewhat irrelevant. I do like it by the coast, though, because it generates some kind of interest in cities. Again, I mean, coast, by the road, whatever else. We'll sort of see how it looks uh, and sort of judge based on that. I mean, this is looking all right over here. Yeah, this is the type of area I'd be kind of going for. I mean, if that road was... Ah, this is good. Look at this one. Temperate forest, road, river, and by the coast. I mean, that seems like a pretty nice combo. We'll roll with that one. Let's see how that looks. Prepare carefully. Let's load our characters in. I'm not going to be using the same characters as last time. We're going to need names for our two new guys. Uh, we're not going to be going with Rex or Rick this time. Those guys are, are dead as all dicks. So I guess we're like, goodbye. Let's random you until we end up with someone who looks like a fairly half-decent start here. That will be our main character. Then we'll start with the secondary character too, just so it's not completely impossible here. Boom. Van Hess. Van Hess, incapable of nothing. A misogynist butcher. That seems like the type of guy who would be able to survive in an apocalypse scenario. I'll adjust his skills so that he's a bit more of a leader character. We'll add in a secondary one based on what you guys want to suggest today. I'll take that into the scenario tomorrow. I'll go ahead and save this guy so that he can be our, our character we load into. But we'll, um, 
We'll generate another character. I'll name him based on what you guys want. And then we can dive in tomorrow. Fresh start. And hopefully, hopefully things won't go as uh, as badly as early on there. In the meantime, we'll call this one. That was, that was tragic. That was genuinely a really tragic story. Can't believe it. That's how Rex Buckley ended. Dying in his bedroom with a house fire. I mean, what did he die of? Like malnutrition in the end, I guess. Unbelievable. Big thank you to the patrons who make this channel possible, without which I would not have nearly enough time to dedicate to all of the many videos. Series B for CK2 will be starting again in, well, sometime this week, or, or within the week, I should say. About five days' time, we'll be looking at a new one there as well, so keep your eyes open for that if you are interested in that type of thing. Let's give a shout-out to Aiden W, Alpha Scuff, Anthony Gawley, Asuna Kurato, Atmos, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Sadini, Crazy Pat, Croesus, Donald, Emerald Beam, Fukuna Vasquez, Fluffinata, Ghost of Protocol, Gogola, Sorry, Jimbo, Jonah Waters, Josh Lynn, Dean Tesla, Justin Wallace, Kaden Carter, Michael Muller, Muskratful, Natbuskus911, Nathan Flores, Necrofilm, Pelvis Presley, Rodin, Richard Clark, Scott, Skaz, Somnus, Stannis the Manus, Shayuk, the Forsaken One, T Bag Cruz, Tom Terry, Teen, Tyler Kendall, Vacuous Backers, and William Green for their support at the insane tier levels on Patreon. The highest of the high. The craziest of them all. Thank you for your support. Thank you for making the channel possible. And a thank you has to go out out as well. Oh, God, my words. They, they fail me. I'm just so disappointed by how that run ended. It's kind of like, that's a, that's a big old kick in the teeth. A big thank you as well to Astro, Adam Person, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Attila, Austin Taylor, Bordoon, Ben Trope, Asmus Max, Better Valerian, Black Double H, Chris, Corey CA, David Van Diepen, Don, the 22 and 7, Easy to Pronounce Name, Exploding Knees, Fraser Brennan, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Gompo, Gray, Haji Demar, Henrik Stensgaard, Icarus, Ice the Great, Irish, Israel, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, James Barnes, Jason Sushu, Jose, Yon DeVries, Jessica Smith, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Luan and Thomas, Luke Wallace, Mastalp, Monty, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pan Sammy, Panthapel, Payback 1 through 7, Peyton Dennis, Rush Nolgar, Billionaire, Smirtworm, Socrates, Super Danny 089, The Bloody Knight, The Insane Pickle, Volonkari, Varagon, Voodoo Mumbo, Wesley Grayson, Will Wade, Wilson Natef, Wolfie, Yorkus, and Zico 2. Thank you all for watching. I'm really annoyed by that. I'm, I'm absolutely gutted.